All right, we have this historic special election to replace Congressman Jason Chaffetz, former Congressman Jason Chaffetz. Um, what is the most interesting thing that's happening with this election, Ben? It's Right now it's pretty quiet. I mean, you think that everybody's, for being really less than a month away, it's very fairly quiet. Um, you do see Kathy Allen doing advertising now. She's having to work a lot harder than maybe she would have if Jason Chaffetz had still been in the race and had she been running to replace him because she had a villain in him. And now she has to uh, paint John Curtis, a moderate, as something that, uh, you know, maybe is more conservative than he really is. And then you have Jim Bennett out there trying to gain traction as well and get before voters. So it may be a situation of this is, it's upended everything and it coulda, shoulda, woulda been. Yeah. Damon, what are your thoughts? Let's see. Uh, well, the outcome of the race is, is not a difficult one to forecast barring some sort of major catastrophic uh, interruption. Uh, and I'd place the odds of that as being fairly unlikely. Uh, so uh, I'd, I'm going to go ahead and say watching the race play out from here, it's interesting to see how well a third party candidate can do. Jim Bennett pulls at 6% at the August, September baseline at the outset of the campaign. Uh, is he going to go up from there in a meaningful way in the poll results? Uh, and if he does, does he go up by pulling from Democrats uh, who are, are, are trying to vote for him thinking Kathy Allen has no chance? Uh, or uh, does he somehow manage to pull a little bit from, uh, from John Curtis? Uh, which I think is a very difficult thing to do. Uh, we, we talk about the the world counterfactual. If, if Jason Chaffetz were still uh, running, uh, I, I wonder what the world counterfactual would be like uh, for for Jim Bennett if Jason Chaffetz were still running, because mm -hmm. his position would be a lot easier as well. Uh, or had Chris Harrod won in the primary election, uh, Bennett uh, could play out of the handbook where you go after. Uh, you, you paint your Republican opponent as an extremist who's out of touch with mainstream Utah, uh, but it's really hard to do that when your opponent is the mayor of Provo. Michelle, you get the final word. Yeah, I think it's interesting that we're going to be doing this again in January. I mean, you know, this was former Congressman Chaffetz's seat, and within a few months of, of starting his new term, he announced his retirement. Um, I think Utah is really kind of tired of that kind of, of political character. Um, we certainly don't want to see Senator Hatch do it. If you start a term, finish your term, especially a two-year term. You know, the, the candidate that wins, you know, will become the incumbent, but they're going to step out of an election and go right into another election because, you know, ballot signatures start, you, you sign up, you start in January. And so it, it's just constant election campaigning for the third district. Thank you all.